Welcome to episode 69. Remember the Gelro book? I had an inspiration lately and made a new hi-fi design. Of course based on the special edition receiver that I made in 1997, here it is. In early March 2020 I made a new version based on current technologies. Even though this channel is supposed to show things chronologically, I'm showing you this anyway. Since I thought the design was quite timeless, I didn't change anything about it, so it's still scale 1 to 1, meaning 12.6 cm wide. It has only four buttons on the front, five actually. The source button, where you select the input source, including Bluetooth, then next to it is a Bluetooth pair button. And below that are two transparent buttons which light up when disabled. It's a DSP off button and a subwoofer off button because this class D amplifier has three channels. On the design from 1997 you had to push the center of the volume knob to turn it on, but this time there is just a physical visible power button. Furthermore, there is a similar LED display and a USB-C port for all kinds of options, including just playing back data, MP3 files, WAV files, whatever, and of course a headphone output. Technology-wise, it has the third generation of the Woof Weeder system. I decided just to keep the same name, Woof Weeder but now call it Woof Weeter DSP and DSP is of course digital signal processing so there are actually technologies around like this where a measurement microphone measures not just the speakers but the room because the room does actually a lot to the sound and indeed can create a crazy frequency curve like the gray one here and corrects for that so that the frequency response is almost flat. So this is very plausible, very possible. So of course there is a measurement microphone included. As already mentioned, it's class D, so it's very energy efficient and it's actually possible now to make a three channel 200 watt amplifier in this size given the fact that you'll need an external adapter which will probably almost the same size as the device but you can hide it away. It of course also comes with a remote but uh, I ditched the sound wave remote because that's not realistic, that's not possible basically. Instead it's an RF remote just like your car key. You don't have to point at the device. So next to one stereo line in and Bluetooth, it also has three HDMI connections and one 5.1 surround line in. I'll get to that in a moment. And of course you can control the device via your smartphone if you want that, because else people won't buy it. So the DSP off button basically gives you a direct signal without the woof reader system. And the subwoofer off button increases the range of the speakers and gives a more gentle sound without the deep bass, which is nice for soft background music. And then there is an extra surround amplifier with another 3 times 50 watts for the center and surround channels. So it is only a power amplifier, which is controlled by the main amplifier and also automatically turns on and off. It can however also be used as a separate power amplifier thanks to an extra 3 channel line in. And it doesn't end there. Here is the special edition mini micro loudspeaker. Of course it is also scale 1 to 1 so that's extremely small. This is an A4 sized paper and it is exactly the same size as two mini micro components, so it fits perfectly with your special edition surround setup. It has minimal distortion thanks to the cylinder shape with round edges. It has a passive radiator on the back side for optimal low frequency response. 
and it can be used, should be used, not only for left and right, but of course also for the center and the surrounds. And the stand is almost not visible, so it looks like a floating cylinder. And this is the Bluetooth measurement microphone. It's wireless, because Bluetooth, and it works on two AA batteries. With that preventing the battery can ever die, because you can just replace it. And it also comes with two rechargeable analog batteries, because alkaline cells have the tendency to start leaking when they're empty. By turning the microphone on, it's automatically recognized and via audio instructions coming from the amplifier, the room is measured in a couple of minutes. So you can just leave your smartphone in your pocket. Isn't that nice for a change? Then there is the subwoofer, the SELFE. Even though, thanks to DSP processing, you can get amazingly low these days in such small designs, the added subwoofer gives you a frequency range down to 30 Hz. And the same subwoofer also functions as LFE, low frequency effects, in the 5.1 surround setup. This one is not scaled to 1, it's 20 cm deep and 12 cm wide. The subwoofer has two drivers, doubling the power and no base port, so there's no air movement sound. So there was a modern day approach to a classic design. It took actually only one afternoon and one evening to draw all this, which is really interesting. It makes you wonder why don't I do it more often. Well, perhaps because I actually really make stuff sometimes. You've seen this before on a picture, but this exists, it's real, and it makes sounds, and I made it. I didn't make the driver, of course. And I actually also made the hanging lamp sometimes popping in the shot from the wood branch. And I made a lot of other things. Photography, digital art. Perhaps it's time to slowly start digging into that. Because I sort of lost the fun of doing this. And this may be the last video for quite a while, maybe forever. It's indeed the invisible channel and it's maybe too pointless to do this if literally no one is seeing it. And uh, yeah, I always start feeling awkward when talking to myself like this. It's actually becoming really weird. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Maybe next week there will be just another scheduled upload because there are st still uh, a couple of uploads scheduled when I'm uploading this one. But um, yeah, that's it for now. Perhaps see you or not see you. Thanks anyway for sticking around here. Future people, because right now no one is watching it. Maybe in the future. Who knows? It's the invisible channel. Nevertheless, thanks for being here and maybe see you on another channel. Posey, for example. <laughs>